These are tonight's primetime headlines. 14-year-old boy has been charged with setting a Waymo car on fire in San Francisco's Chinatown. This is video from that fire in February. You can see the Waymo car fully engulfed in flames. Now, police won't say what led them to that 14-year-old, but they did say that they found some evidence at his home. Because of the boy's age, it's going to be up to the juvenile probation department to determine the next steps in this case. A body found in the Oakland estuary has been identified as a missing mother-in-law connected to a murder investigation. Both women that you see there in that photo were first reported missing in September by Fook Vo. At the time, he told police that he last saw them as they were leaving after a family fight. He claims that they left in his wife's car and headed for L.A. Two months later, police say they spotted him driving that very car that he said was missing along with the women. That development got him arrested and facing two murder charges. Police now are searching for the wife's body. A local state senator is trying to force insurance companies to change how they calculate how much they charge you for a policy. That bill was authored by State Senator Josh Becker. It comes as insurers have been dropping tens of thousands of policyholders because of increased wildfire risks. Now, this bill would require those companies to factor in wildfire mitigation efforts like clearing brush and controlled burns into their risk assessments. The companies say that bill's not needed because the state is already working on an updated insurance regulation policy. These are your primetime headlines at the half hour. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says his country will be the one to decide how they respond to Iran's attack over the weekend. Allies like the United States are calling for restraint from Israel to avoid further escalation. Iran's president is also now warning Israel not to respond. Impeachment charges have been dismissed against Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. The Senate voted today along party lines to end that trial before arguments even began. House Republicans who had voted to impeach Mayorkas in February accused him of breaching public trust and not enforcing immigration laws. But Democrats declare those articles of impeachment unconstitutional. Authorities in South San Francisco will host a gun buyback event next month. People will get cash between $50 and $200 for each firearm that they turn in. Authorities will also distribute free gun locks at the event. It's set for May 4th.